What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to see how well my Power Mac G5 can handle 1080p video editing in Final Cut Pro. So without further ado, let's get to it. For those of you who are new to this channel, this is my late 2005 Power Mac G5. Inside, it's got a dual core 2.3 GHz Power 5 CPU, backed up by 6.5 GB of DDR2 RAM, and graphics are handled by a custom flashed Radeon X 1950 XT. As far as Power Macs go, this is pretty much as good as it gets before stepping up to the G5 Quad. The footage we'll be editing today is a selection of ProRes 422 clips I shot with my Fujifilm X-H1 and transcoded in DaVinci Resolve. All totaled, it's about 2 minutes and 26 seconds worth of footage. We'll use Final Cut Express 4 for editing, which is basically the same as Final Cut Pro 6, it just has a few more advanced features missing. Performance during editing was actually pretty good, but once I had about 4 tracks of audio, the timeline was starting to stutter a bit. Once I'd finished editing, it was time to export. I used QuickTime conversion to output an H.264 MP4 file at 29.97 FPS, and the quality slider was set to high, encoding set to multipass, and the bitrate limited to 40 megabits per second. These settings are as close as I can get to the settings I usually use to export videos when I'm editing them on my main computer. Resolution was of course set to 1080p. We'll give it a name, and click save. Then the waiting game begins. I will give the G5 one thing. If you've seen my video about editing on a PowerBook G4, you might remember how the rest of the OS was brought to a standstill during exporting. Here, that's not the case. The dock is still very usable, and you can completely multitask during an export, despite the CPUs running at about 90% utilization. About two and a half hours later, our export was finally finished. So for every minute of color graded ProRes 422 footage I edited, it took about an hour to render. I was honestly expecting it to be a little better than that. Feature wise, Final Cut Pro 6 is still very useful. All the basics from color grading to multi-channel equalizers work excellent. You're just going to have to have a lot of patience when it comes time to export if you're using it on a Power Mac G5. As much as I love the PowerPC era, prices on machines like my Power Mac here only seem to be going up. So if you need a cheap Mac to get work like this done, I'd really recommend you buy an early Intel Mac Pro over a Power Mac machine these days. Because while they're not useless, they're just not the great value they used to be. I hope you enjoyed this little test here, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit like, get subscribed, and ring the bell so you get notified when I post new videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.